coronavirus. Ramaphosa made the announcement in an address to the nation last night. The national infection rate currently stands at 402. National Coronavirus Command Council has decided to enforce a nationwide lockdown for 21 days with effect from midnight on Thursday, the 26th of March. We also welcome most wholeheartedly welcome the, the economic the initiatives that we put in place, but particularly the creation of solidarity. To bring, to bring down the racial infections at the Ramaphosa says the 21-day nationwide lockdown, which comes into effect from midnight on Thursday, will be accompanied. Came at the right time. I do not wish to show you the doom and gloom to come, but rather the true reflection of what we see when we look in the mirror. The night the president spoke, I felt a lot of deep, overwhelming fear and anxiety. A feeling of concern as to what the future would look like. Feelings that none of us wanted to experience in our lifetime. Economies will dip into recession, investments will be worthless, the stock markets will crash and our democracy will be questioned as governments go into a state of emergency. Shifting our very state of freedom. Yet we all wish to be free to create and explore the beauties of life. We wish to help one another, to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. That's the very nature of being human. Yet we've been distracted by the evil nature of our household cages built up by our state of emergency rules. It makes us feel like we have lost the way. The world has moved into a haste, into a world that is virtual. A world that leaves us feeling encaged, built up by hate. We have locked ourselves in, but we have developed the internet to talk to one another, no matter from where in the world. The very nature of these developments have given us the potential to free ourselves. Industries like my own are changing, helping one another develop solutions to continue our beautiful way of life. We have the power to create these tools that bring our countries and loved ones closer. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. We have the potential to pave the way forward for a new way of life. Power to bring down the walls that were not created for man but for machines. We are not machines, we are human. You, the artists, entrepreneurs, creators, and all humans alike. The power to create and build a better future together. It is easier to see the bigger picture when we have our health, security, financial stability, and loved ones by our sides. Yet I believe and feel in my heart it's when we get dealt a heavy blow that it is the life we have built that will fuel us forward. It's only a matter of time until we awaken to see all the good happening in the world. Too much and feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Let us allow ourselves to be the creative architects of our own future, to do away with national barriers, to bring the countries and our people together. Let's create and never stop. Let's solve and design until we can all